In the past, I've done a couple videos taking a look at products from Human Things and their Genki line of devices for the Nintendo Switch. They were things that I backed them on Kickstarter and purchased myself and did, you know, reviews on them. It seems they noticed that and decided, hey, let's hit this guy up, send him a couple products for purpose review. And that's where we're at today. They sent me the Covert Dock Mini, which I think is pretty neat with the 4K output. But the other item, the Waveform earbuds, I thought were really intriguing. And it's very difficult. How do you make a video on earphones, earbuds, you know, whatever? It's kind of kind of difficult. You're not going to hear what I hear. But I thought these were so unique with the features that they had that I, I wanted to share my impressions with you guys. So, yeah, the Genki Waveform they're not just your standard earbuds like oh you sync them up to bluetooth and you know listen to your audio i mean that's obviously part of it but it has this dual stream technology plus a ton of other specs and and features and whatnot uh they're they're fairly high quality from what i'm seeing and gathering here but that dual stream feature where you could take two different audio sources and have them sent to the earphones at once at first i was a little confused like what what's really the the reason for that, what would you need that for? But then it, like, there's so many purposes behind that. These have a built-in mic. Then the little dock that it comes with, the case has a built-in mic. You're able to sync this up to like a video game system. They're advertising it for the Switch and PS5. Hook it up to your PC, your video game console, whatever through Bluetooth. And then if you're playing a game that doesn't have like built-in chat, or you want to use your own you know, platform like Discord or whatever, you want to jump into something else, it's easy enough to do that with these headphones without losing the audio you're listening to. If you want to listen to your game and then take a phone call at the same time and not lose the audio from your game, it works just like that as well. Watch a, a video tutorial uh, on a game that you're playing, all those different things. There's so many possibilities and today, I, I wanted to check this out with you guys and, you know, really see what the, you know, are they, you know, worthwhile? How, how is the audio? How is the mic? Does the dual stream feature actually work? So that's where we're at today. Unboxing it and just going to share with you guys some tests real quick. And then I'll give you guys my final thoughts. So let's go ahead and test it out. Like the mic first off. That's the, 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 the thing that mostly I can, like, demonstrate in video. So let's take a look. Or listen, actually. Okay, so a little test here as far as the audio quality of the mic that's built into the Genki Waveform earbuds. I'm not processing this. What you hear is the way it recorded just straight from the earbud. Uh, no, no processing, no tweaking, nothing like that. I'm recording on my main mic as well that does have a preamp and you know live processing going on. So I may bounce back and forth to compare a little bit. Uh, not a fair comparison, but still, just to kind of give you an idea of what I'm working with here. Now, uh, if, you know, you have a few options here. You could use the mic built into the earbud or the mic built into the case. And it's fairly interesting uh, the way this thing works with multiple audio sources being fed into it, the dual stream stuff. So really the usefulness would be uh, sync it up to whatever, you know, system you're playing games on have uh, your game audio fed to the earbuds and then also use like Discord on your phone or on your PC, hook the uh, dock up to it and use it as a mic. There's a lot of different, you know, variations on how to get this set up, but having dual stream audio sent to you, being able to use multiple devices for whatever reason is pretty neat, but how is the audio quality, right? So we'll test the audio quality of the dock next as far as the mic goes. But yeah, I don't even know what it sounds like quite yet, but let's do it. Okay, so now I'm recording through the mic built into the smart case. And right now it's about, I wanna say, a foot and a half away from my face. And I am at the same time recording through the uh, other microphone. Like I said, not a fair comparison, but I may bounce back and forth a little bit. Really, it's just for me to like look at, would I ever use something like this in a pinch to record audio for a video? Most likely not. I mean, I haven't listened to the results yet, but as far as voice chat and games and whatnot goes, maybe it'll, you know, be suitable. But yeah, so about a foot and a half away. Now, uh, maybe about eight inches away from my face. That's the, the audio that we're getting. I am noticing um, recording through the mic on the smart case. I'm monitoring it right now as far as the levels go. It's 
almost staying at the same decibels uh, as my my mic here versus when I was using the earbuds mic, it was in the red. It was like clipping. I don't know what that sounds like because I haven't listened to it yet, but this is kind of staying stable. Maybe the audio quality through this is going to be better. We'll find out. Okay, so this is kind of interesting, and I just want to quickly talk about this dual stream thing where you have two audio sources going into the earbuds at once. It took a moment to get this uh, dual stream stuff set up. Uh, just follow the directions in the manual as closely as possible. Uh, it's minorly confusing. I think they could have worded it a little better on how to do it, but you'll figure it out if you just kind of you know reread the steps a couple times, right? So on one device on my phone, as an example, I have waveform dual stream sync through Bluetooth. So that's how we're getting two audio sources. And then the earbuds themselves, I have paired to my PC. And I find it kind of interesting. Like I have the audio for this Genki video on their Kickstarter. I'm hearing it in my left earbud. And then I have a YouTube video playing on my phone and I'm hearing it on the right. So you can kind of manipulate the audio a little bit, uh, tweak things. If you get the waveform uh, app, the, the Genki waveform app on your phone, it's, they have it for iOS and Android. You could tweak things further, but even without messing with any of that, uh, it seems to be working fine. Like if you need to take a call through one thing and you're still listening to your game on the other, I find it kind of interesting. The quality is fairly decent as far as what I'm hearing. Like the bass is good. And like I said, you could tweak all that stuff. And then it does have that active noise canceling, which works pretty well as well. And there's different options for that. Overall, I think these, uh, you know, earbuds are pretty neat with some interesting features that I think a lot of people out there um, would find useful. I have plenty of other earbuds and like, you know, headphones and whatnot that I use. And uh, a lot of times like these kind that you just pop in, they fit in your ears. Uh, you know, they'll wind up falling out, especially if I take my ass to the gym type of thing. And these ones with all the different options they have as far as the uh, ear pieces, the memory foam, silicone, the wing tips, all that kind of stuff. Uh, I'm pretty sure you'll find a combination that works fine. The ones that were just stock on here, I, I haven't had any issues with them falling out. So I'm actually really digging these. So I can't leave my video at that. I have to give my final impressions and thoughts on the waveform, especially after having gone back and listened to that mic audio quality and having used them quite a bit in a few different scenarios, different tests. Now, while I think the feature of that dual stream is really neat, and the audio quality sounds pretty good to me, especially with being able to tweak things, but that dual stream is really where it's at with this thing. Even the ideas it has on here, listen to music in a Zoom call, I mean, you'd be talking to you know somebody in a meeting, the presenter, you're having a conversation, listening to them, and then listening to music at the same time. There's a lot of possibilities here, but it's not all positive. That microphone, my God. The, I tested on a cell phone, too, having somebody call me and hearing their, the audio quality, and it sounded a tiny bit clearer, but still, it, it was like being in a tin can in the middle of an empty warehouse inside of an, of an aquarium. It was clear enough to understand, but the quality is just not great. Maybe a firmware update can tweak that, and I heard mumblings of that, but I'm not sure. Uh, the one thing I would definitely recommend is going to the Kickstarter, if you're interested in these anyway, and read some real-world you know, concerns in the comments section of issues that people have been having. And there's quite a few, uh, to be honest. Some people are having issues where the earbud doesn't charge, one of them doesn't charge, other people not being able to sync it up with the dual stream. And then another issue with the app, the AWS thing, Amplify Services running, I have that same issue. Always stays on. Every time I open the app, it says update the firmware to use the app, even though I've already done that and it hasn't changed anything. Uh, so those are issues that I've been having. People talking about having it connected to like their phone or something and putting the, the earbuds back in the case, taking them out, popping them in, and they don't sync. You have to go back in and reconnect. Same thing has happened to me. Every time I put them back in the case, take them out, I have to reconnect them to my phone. All my other earbuds that I have, like I said, I have other ones that are similar in price around that $200 mark. Every time I take them out of their case, put them in, they auto-connect to whatever I had them connected to. These aren't doing that. 
Maybe with an update, it could fix that. But right now, there does seem to be a few bugs and issues. Well, I think these are decent quality. Some things probably need to be ironed out to really highly recommend them. Like, I really want to love them and use them all the time. But the mic's just not that big of a deal to me. The dual stream audio is simple enough for me to get set up as I've done it a few times and it just works. Follow the instructions in the manual, even though it could have been worded a little better on how to do it. But yeah, I just connect the dock to like, you know, one device and then connect the earbuds. One comes up. You have to have the earbuds in the dock and then like plug the dock into something, open it up, put the earbuds in and then connect both individually. One will be waveform dual stream. The other one just waveform earbuds. It works for me, but other people are having issues with that. But there you go. I mean, look at the people who've actually bought these, the experiences they're having with them. Keep tabs on that if it's something you're interested in. But I just wanted to share my honest impressions and thoughts and experiences using them. Appreciate you guys watching. Bye.